What's up, Degenerates? Mad Morrigan here for Cold Bear Sports. Right, lads, got the one selection for YouTube today. I got two for the service. I'll be putting them out soon. Let's just recap yesterday. Nat Ali kicking it off with a winner. I drifted out to a really nice price. Drifters can win. Uh, 9 to 4 in the morning, drifted out to 16 to 5 and really got the job done. Quiet after that, Falak disappointed in part. And uh, we had one other selection, Glorious Rio, but he, he was, by the end of that day, you could tell all the winners were drawn low on the sprint course, so kind of he was gone from there. But then let's touch on the Patreon service. We had a really, really frustrating day yesterday. We went for a touch on a horse that probably shouldn't have ran when the ground went to good to firm. I couldn't believe the ran. When your man came over the, the TV and said the ground has now changed to good to firm after the first couple of races, I was like, holy fuck, take him out. They ran him. The horse just wouldn't let himself down on the ground. He blew out. Touch gone south. But look, it's very interesting, lads, that you just don't just stick with the point system. Like, after all, I ran every number. Like, we had another disappointment yesterday, migration as well. So, really, most progressive horse in racing, you know, this season blows out. It can happen, but it's so, so important to stick to the point system. I ran every number in the gold here yesterday. And even after going for some big touches, last week we went for a massive touch on Overthink. And yesterday we went for a good touch as well. Like, even yesterday, we lost a lot of points yesterday. But... For the whole month, through every selection, if you stake right, you're plus 36 points, even after going for them touches. We had days where we won 58 points. We had a day here, Chelsea and uh, the other horse that won Turnpike Trip. Sure, that was fifth plus 58 points. You know, we had another day during the month, Emirati Hero, five points win at... at five to two so you know other big day dream weaver that one and we had the doubles early in the month we had eight winners the first week but anyway i just want to make sure that that if you are following me and you have a bad day you need to be staked right because as i proved after we had a quiet week last week i came out the next week and we won 70 75 points the next week so so just bear with it look we're plus 36 points in profit through every selection for the month you know that's that's a serious serious result after go after having a very bad day yesterday and going for a massive touch last week so when i put out a you know a three points each way and even if it's 10 to 1 or 12 to 1 you must attack it like it's uh you know like it's uh you know i know a lot of people probably bet bigger on the smaller prices but you need to be consistent with your three pointers i know when two of them lose you're thinking oh this is a disaster but you don't realize i you hit three in a row and you're a hundred you're a hundred points in profit from them so so don't worry frustrating day yesterday but as always we bounce back so there it is the gold tear if anyone is interested in signing up next month we had an up and down month but it is still plus 36 points in profit after going for some big touches that just unfortunately went south anyway move on to the day i'll be coming there soon i've two selections for the patreon service today right one selection on youtube today tiger beetle now this is six to four but <coughs> a 255 a fact. i just looked at this horse and i thought if the price was a bit bigger, I would have probably put him on the service. But six to four, I'm going to say, right, I went through all his form. Like, his form really stacks up. Now, Sir Michael Stout gave him a little break, which is an angle I love. Another angle I love is he's coming to Pontefract today, which is definitely very, very interesting. Tiger Beetle, uh, he's been behind horses such as Nagano, a horse we had a, a touch on in Go at the Goodwood Festival on the service. He's been behind the, the real good Philly free wind. He's been behind Southern Voyage, who's won three races in a row for Archie Watson. So this son of Camilla is definitely very interesting. Like it cost 300,000. And I think today we're going to see, uh, hopefully this horse do well. It's I think it's off a mark of 81. The horses that it's been running around are far, far gone one of some of them are over 100 some of them are close to 100 and southern voyage is probably around 90 so like this horse is definitely well treated and sir michael stout often goes to pontefract uh with this kind of horse before we've been lucky enough to catch a few of them so look let's hope tiger beetle can just improve and be far too good for them 
hopefully now you do have to take it on chance that it's fit after its break but hopefully it's well handicapped if it wasn't a hundred percent tuned up it might still get the job done pj mcdonald in the saddle right lads frustrating day yesterday that happens but go back through the, the week we had some nice winners we won 58 pints in one day so you know sit tight attack every three point selection and, and bigger the same way the previous one regardless of result because i promise you like always they hit and i know we might go through a frustrating couple of days going for touches and, that, and that's the way it is like look at me i'm tired i had a war with the bucky yesterday tug of war that's how it is right let's move on to today i'll be on the server soon that's two selections for you hopefully we'll get a few more winners right tiger beetle today pj mcdonald in the saddle trained by a fucking genius the time for cotton is over <laughs> 